Good afternoon, everybody. I'm the Video Gamer World War One. I hope y'all having a blessed Sunday. I know I am. Uh, I found something really cool today. I want to show off these two collections that I found at Goodwill. Uh, I found th they had this for ten dollars, but I got it half price because I have fifty percent off a blue sticker, and this was a blue sticker, so I got this for five dollars. I got this for seven dollars. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, you know that I found these. It's the Nine, it's the 95th anniversary of the first movie in this collection, which you all will see what it is in a moment. Um, Alright, to be honest, uh, I think the Marx Brothers are okay. That, that's what I bought the set. I just figured it would be cool to get the rest of them. I've seen... The only movie I've seen of theirs is A Night at the Opera, which was okay, I guess. But then again, it was like five years since I've seen it, so maybe my... Well, maybe I've changed a little bit maybe i'll like them more so yeah so right here we have the march brothers silver screen collection this has the four brothers uh released by universal and this has the three after zeppo left the group so yep anyway all right let's review warner Br i mean sorry universal first so here's the front here Groucho harpo chico zeppo the march brothers silver screen collection march brothers i was only going to buy this one but it turns out these have different films on it um Here's the front here. You have your four brothers and names. Here's the side. The Marx Brothers. Groucho Harpo, Chico Zeppo, Silver Screen Collection. Universal DVD video number. The Marx Brothers logo. I know some people have commented that my videos are not in 4K. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I wish I could, but I'm recording on an iPad Mini. And it was released... Well, the iPad Mini... It was, it's around 10 years old, so, yeah, it's not going to record in 4K high definition, but, oh well. Just want to let you know, and I do apologize for that. They had the four brothers on the back here. Looks like they're about to get in some action here. So you open it up. I really like uh, the side here. Alright, so you open it up. You have Zeppo and Groucho and Harpo and Chico. Oh, I do have an episode of You Bet Your Life with Groucho Marx. That was kind of funny. I like that. All right, so you have your silver screen collection. Before I show you the disc, this is a six-disc set, by the way. Mark Brothers silver screen collection. So you have your introduction. Talks about them a little bit. Then you, the first movie it talks about is The Coconuts. I really like how they have poster here. Coconuts, 1929. Talks a little bit about the film. You have your scene selection, your credits. And we go to the second film. Animal Crackers, you have your quote. Talks about the film. Scene selection. And you have Monkey Business. About the film. That's the main reason why I got this. I mean, even if I don't like the films, I just really like the packaging, and I like the little book that's in the middle of it. I like stuff like that, you know, where you can read stuff about the set. Scene selection, credits. Horse feathers. Full horse feathers. 1932. And then, uh... Probably this film that almost wasn't. Oh, my. So, alright, so there's that here. Of the movie, you have your scene selection, the credits... And then you have the last one that Zeppo was in, Duck Soup. Probably one of the most famous movies. I've not seen any of these. I've only seen A Night at the Opera, which was okay. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of these, though. There's another one that I'm looking forward to seeing in a minute. The butt behind the scenes. Then you have your credit, I mean, your scene selection, your credits. And I think this is just really respectful. Like, you know, like... The, they, so they have the names Groucho, Harpo, Chico, and Zeppo, but they actually had their na actual names here. So Groucho's was Julius Henry Marx, Harpo Marx, his real name was Adolf Marx, Chico Marx's real name was Leonard Marx, and Zeppo Marx, was his real name was Herbert Marx. There was another brother, Gummo, but he was not in. Uh, he was not in any of the films. He left, and Zeppo replaced him. I don't know as much about the Marx brothers as I do about the Three Stooges. So. Russell Marx, 1890 to 1977. Harpo Marx, 1888 to 1964. 
Chico Marx, 1860, I mean, sorry, 1887 to 1961. Seppo Marx, 1901 to 1979. And then it talks about the different films. So you open it up like this. You have, so you have your coconuts. There's the four, no, no, just the three brothers. Then you have animal crackers. You have Chico under there. Oh yeah, the Animal Crackers one matches this picture. That's pretty cool. Monkey business. You have Gracho. I wonder why the Marx Brothers and the Three Stooges didn't do something together. That would have been funny. I mean, oh well. I, well, I guess the Marx Brothers never did work for Columbia Pictures, but they never worked. Yeah, it would have been good. I've said they never worked for a Fox film. But yeah, they did. Uh, Horse Feathers. Harpo. Doug's Soup. Zeppo. And then you have your bonus materials. I looked... I put all the discs in, tried them out. They were good. Pretty much, they have, like, interviews with Harpo. I mean, Groucho and Harpo and... Harpo's son or Groucho's son. There's another picture of the boys. So, very nice. Now, here's the set I was looking forward to getting. Here's the Marx Brothers collection. These are all the... That was Universal. These are Warner Brothers. So, Zeppo is no longer part of the team anymore. Marx Brothers collection. Groucho Chico Harpo. There's all your films here. This one has seven films on it. So, you get Night at the Opera, Day at the Races, Night Casablanca, and then you get two double feature DVDs. Uh, room service and at the circus is on one, and go west and the big stores at the uh, is on on the other one. Okay, so going in order. First off, we have a night of the opera. This is the one I watched. It's been a long time since I watched it. That was okay, but I'm looking forward to seeing this again. Dang, this movie will be ninety next year. Yep. So here's your special features. There's your disc. I already have this movie in the Best of Warner Brothers collection. If you've all seen that, you know that. Marx Brothers and a Day at the Races. Oh, this one has Alan, Kitty Carlisle and Alan Jones. This one also has Alan Jones. Also has Marino Sullivan, which for you hardcore movie buffs out there, know she was in the Tarzan films. The first six with Johnny Weissmuller. The Year's Big Laugh, Music, and Girl Show. Oh, boy. Yeah, so there's the back there. And let me show you your disc. Day of the Races. Then you have your first double feature, Room Service and At the Circus. My grandparents have a, a tribute to Lucy, and it showed a clip from this movie, and I'm really excited to watch it. Hopefully it's good. There's Lucille Ball and Ann Miller in it. And then At the Circus, Kenny Baker, uh, you all know... All you Star Wars fans know, that's the same Kenny Baker um, he would play later, played R2-D2 in Star Wars, also Florence, Florence Rice. There you go, there's the back. There's your double-sided disc. So side A, you get room service. And side B, you get at the circus. And then your second double feature, Go West and the Big Store. Go West has John Carroll and Diana Lewis, and the Big Store is Tony Martin. I believe he was a singer. It's back here. Special features. All right, so side A, you get Go West. Side B, you get the Big Store. And then, there. There. I really wish it would have been like they put them all on a single-sided disc, but oh well. And then you have, finally, we have A Night in Casablanca, considered to be the last official Marx Brothers film. They did make Love Happy, which I'm sad is included in, like, uh, the Warner Brothers set. It would have been cool to have all 13 films, but I guess uh, from what I've read, it, it isn't really a Marx Brothers film. Groucho Marx only appears briefly in it. It was mostly meant to be a film with Har starring Harpo. 
Oh, well. Anyway, this is the last film, anyway. Kind of cool that I got all 12 films in the set today. All 12 films that they made. If you don't count Love Happy. A nine cost block. Oh, Love Happy did have Marilyn Monroe. Anyway, this one has Lois Collier, Lois Collier and Charles Drake. I believe that's how you pronounce Lois' name. All right. Acrobatty Bunny. So you think you're a nervous wreck. Uh, I think a Joe McDoe short was also on The Public Enemy, if I'm not mistaken. So, yep. The inside, not in Casablanca. So there you go. This is my entire March Brothers collection. Let me know if y'all want me to uh, post my thoughts on each of these as I watch them. Oops. Let me know if you want me to po post my thoughts as I watch them. Yeah, and I'll make sure to. I know probably my grandparents will want to borrow these too, so. Yeah, hope you enjoyed my review. I'll be posting another video in a few minutes. Uh, showing off my Adams Family Collection, so stay tuned for that. Alright, bye guys.